So we're going to introduce the application of a T-pod uh, pelvic binder, uh, which is used in unstable pelvic fractures in the trauma patient. And this T-pod comes with uh, a belt or binder, along with a Velcroed uh, stabilization device that's put on uh, once the binder is in place. So the first thing we're going to do with this trauma patient is we're going to log roll him uh, towards Jason and we're going to smoothly and without as, uh, as easily as possible get this binder underneath this patient. So if you guys want to roll. One, two, three. So we'll slide this binder underneath. Good, and then down. One, two, three. Good. So Jason, I want you to just pull that binder through. And we want to get this binder so that the top edge of the binder is just at the level of the iliac crest, or you can also do it so that it's centered on the greater, greater trochanters of the pelvis. So I'm just going to pull this through a little tiny bit, another little bit, good. So from here, we're going to uh, measure up the binder. Do not fold this binder. So when you go to use it, this is a one-time use only binder. We're going to cut it at the measuring point. There needs to be about a six to eight inch gap uh, between each end of the binder. And then we'll place our Velcro towards me there and there. Pull this circumferential until it's in place. Once that's in place, you wrap your cords through your hooks and then you can write down the date and time of when you place the binder. Okay, so we're gonna show you an alternative way to uh, bind a pelvis. If your facility doesn't have a T-pod binder, you can use uh, a hospital sheet with, uh, with four clamps. So what we'll do is we'll go through the process of log rolling the patient towards Jason and Liz on uh, Sam's count. And we're gonna feed this uh, sheet, which is folded, in the area over the pelvis. Okay. And then I'm gonna get Jason to pull that sheet through. So we kind of meet halfway, Jason. Good. So from here, we're going to pull as tight as we can, Jason. Okay. And I'm going to hand you this one and you hand me this one. A little tight. Turn. And we'll go one more rotation. And then we'll clamp the sheet to the actual tie on the top. And on the bottom. We're gonna mark the, the top part of the sheet to the bottom part of the sheet to see during transport if, uh, if this sheet's uh, comes apart and loosens, which in fact then we'll have to reapply the binder and tighten it.